Welcome to our lecture online. So here we're going to do a, sim a similar example as before. We're going to use the algebraic properties. We're going to add an additional property that we hadn't seen before. And also notice I've added a couple more words here. So the question here, what are we doing? That's basically called the explanation. We're explaining what we're doing at each step of the way. Again, this is going to be a pseudo proof using the same kind of methodology as we would, do, we would for a formal proof in geometry, but at least we're applying it to something that you're now familiar with. We'll get into the more gem, gem, uh, geometry-like problems in the near future. On the right side here, we can see that why can we, can we do that? Well, that's called the reason. So we have the explanation and the reason. The reason why we're allowed to do that. The reason because based upon this proof or based upon this postulate or based upon this property, I'm able and allowed to do that because of that. And so we have the explanation, what we're doing, and the reason why we can do it. All right, here we have again a linear equation. The first thing I want to do is distribute the minus 2 over the 6x and the plus 4. So what I'm going to do is multiply the negative 2 times the 6x and the negative 2 times the 4. When I do that, I get the following. This becomes minus 12x minus 8 is equal to minus 92. So what did I do? Well, I distributed the negative 2. on the left-hand side. So again, LHS means on the left-hand side. Now, why am I able to do that? Well, that's known as the distributive property in algebra. We're allowed to do that because there's a property that says that I can multiply the negative 2 times the first term and the negative 2 times the second term, and I will still end up with the same thing that I ended up before. So this is known as the distributive property of equality. Alright, so next, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get rid of the minus 8 on the left side. I can do that, I can eliminate the minus 8 by adding a plus 8 to both sides, so let me do that. Minus 12x, minus 8, and now I'll go ahead and add an 8 to the left side, and that should equal minus 92, and again, if I do it to the left side, I must do exactly the same thing to the right side. So what I'm doing here is I'm eliminating the minus 8 from the left-hand side. Oop, and I'm missing an E there. All right. So now the question is, why am I allowed to do that? Why can't I just go ahead and add an 8 to the, the left side and add an 8 to the right side? That's because there's an algebraic property that allows me to do so. It's called the addition property of equality. Which means that I, if I have two sides that are equal to each other, since minus 12x minus 8 is equal to minus 92, it then allows me to add the exact same amount to both sides, and the left side will then still equal the right side. So when I execute this step, I get minus 12x is equal to minus 84. Now I want to eliminate the minus 12x, the minus 12 from the minus 12x. I want to isolate x. So I'm going to isolate x. That's what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? I'm going to isolate x. And it's going to be done as follows. I'm going to divide the left side by minus 12. And I'm going to divide the right side by minus 12. So on the left side, I end up with x. And on the right side, I end up with 7, because 7 times 12 is 84. The question I was, why am I allowed to do that? Well, I'm allowed to do that because I'm using the division property of equality. And so what that says is that since the left side, minus 12x, equals the right side, minus 84, I'm now allowed to divide both sides by the exact same quantity which means that the left side will still equal the right side. And so that means that this is called the division property of equality. I'm allowed to divide both sides by the exact same quantity without changing anything about the relationship between the left and the right side, which means the left side still equals the right side. And so I've proven that x equals 7, 
based upon this initial given equation that minus 2 times 6x plus 4 equals minus 92. What they sometimes do when they give you the initial equation, they say, here's the equation and the reason why I can put the equation down because it was given to me. This was my initial starting point. It was given. I will accept it for what it is. I don't have to prove it. It just says that's what it is. That's what I've been given. So sometimes they put an additional step in the beginning where we say minus 2 times 6x plus 4 equals minus 92. And why can I write that? Because it was an equation that was given to me and I don't have to prove it or don't have to worry about it. That's the starting point. Not going to argue with whoever gave it to me. And that's sometimes an initial step that they put in into the proofs. It may seem kind of superfluous, but sometimes we need to have make sure that we set all the rules straight and we can explain everything we do, including where the initial equation came from, which is sometimes very important. And that's how it's done.